Hi there everybody, welcome to the Horrible Noises channel. Today's video is done by request. Some of you in the comments of my drums with Mata Fatitio video, link above, ask how this patch is done. So today is the day. In the first main part of the video I will recreate this patch in two options and at the end of the video I will add some bonus content. The first thing we need to talk about is how this trick works. Our 32 is a mono synth with one oscillator and noise source. We will take advantage of that and mix between those two sounds. The first one, built with VCO, will be the kick sound. If you want to learn how to make the kick sound, I've already done a video about it, I will link it above. The second uh, sound will be a sound based on the noise source, so it can be more like a snare or a hi-hat sound. I've done a hi-hat tutorial as well. But in this case, it will probably sound more like a snare. Okay, so let's get back to the kick patch. Uh, it will be our starting point. And now we want to sequence change to the noise snare sound. Like that. So we want to move the mix knob from all the way left to all the way right. Or if you want to hear a mix of two sounds at once, set it to the middle. And I have good news for you. With Mad Latitude Sequencer, you can set this knob to any position you want. The function we will use is called, I think, um, keyboard tracking. So we take the output of the keyboard and we patch it into the mix CV input. Here. How does this work? The lower node you play on the keyboard, uh, the lower value the mix knob receives. And the higher note you play, the mix knob changes its value to higher and moves to the right. Of course, the mix knob will not turn by, the, by itself, you will not see the physical effect. We talk about uh, what is happening under the hood. What's important, to get the best results, uh, we have to set the knob to the middle. So, snare sound, kick sound. Now I can show you how to make this the same patch, but in a different way. It will be helpful if you want to use outside sound sources to sequence with Mother 32. And next I will show you how to use sequencer to create drum sequence. Okay, let's unpatch the keyboard output for now. Uh, what I have here is, let's call it an advanced control kick patch. But for the second patch option, we have to change it to the basic one. Still sounds cool. And now, what we want to do is patch VCO pulse. Also, if you prefer this wave as your kick sound source into mix one. Next, noise out into mix two. And now, uh, keyboard out into VC mix control. And the last one is VC mix into external audio. So, what's going on? The idea is the same, but uh, we are using a mix module instead of the mix knob. And what we are controlling with keyboard is the VC uh, mix knob here. Remember to turn the mix knob all the way to the right, this one, because we want to hear external sound and VC mix knob to the middle. It's the same case uh, as in previous patch. Now we can test it. What's cool uh, about setting this patch this way uh, is that you can sequence outside sources uh, with Manda 42. It may require sending a gate out, but you can have a separate snare or hi-hat sound with its own envelope, for example. If you want to see this kind of patch, let me know in the comment section below. So, now we can start sequencing the pattern. Let's initialize the pattern. Uh, warning, it will erase the existing uh, sounds and pattern. Press Shift, Reset and Pattern. Let's enter step mode with Shift and Step. 
and we have only one step in this button. We have to change uh, the length. We can do this with a shortcut Shift plus Set End, and I want eight steps in my pattern. Finally, this is the time when we have to edit the notes. Let's use shortcut Shift plus Step Number to enter edit mode. And now you can select the note value. Let's start with low note, it will be a kick sound. Press shift and step number again to exit edit mode. Or you can select directly another step. Like this. Scroll be between octaves using arrows. Next one, maybe it should be a blank one. So I will press rest. On the third note, I will put the highest note that will play the noise sound. Okay, let's fast forward. This is how it sounds. We can add some accents. Enter step edit mode and press accent. Now you can play with the knobs. To get this aggressive sound from my video, turn the VCA mode switch to on. One caveat of the system is that the kick and snare sounds share the same settings of attack, decay and filter, but it still sounds dope. And now it's the time for bonus content. Now you know how to play linear sequences, but maybe you want to join a cool kids club and tag your music as generative. You can make Mother 32 generate a random sequence. How cool is that? Let's uh, reset the pattern. and set uh, length uh, to 3. I will add three types of sounds, kick, snare and rest. Well, rest is no sound sound. Let's play it. Now it sounds really dull. It's time to add generative magic. Press keyboard and step plus number four. And voila, uh, you are now a hip alternative musician. This track is almost ready to upload to Bandcamp. You can manipulate the amount of the particular sound. If you think that you want more kicks, just add one more step with a kick in it. The chance to play the sound will be higher. Okay, I think uh, that is all for this video. Have a nice day. And remember kids, go make some noise.